Hey guys, what's up? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chrisanna. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're an oldie, welcome back. I just want to thank you in advance for watching this video and for all of you that have supported me through this journey. Thank you all and I love you all so, so much. So for today, I kind of want to do like a fall tutorial because I'm like many of you guys, I absolutely love fall. I love all the colors. I love the pumpkins. I love Thanksgiving. I just love fall time. And another thing with fall is it kind of brings you right into Christmas and I absolutely love Christmas as well. So the eyeshadow palettes for today that I will be using will be the Ellie Girl Break Free eyeshadow collection. And this one is the BU. Looks like this. And then the other one I want to use is going to be the BH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona. So I figured I would use both because in the LA Girl one, there isn't many shimmers. And in the beautiful Barcelona one, there is a couple pretty shimmers that I wouldn't mind adding to the LA Girl mattes. And I also have a few more things I wanted to try out. Um, I've been getting a couple things from the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. So I have some foundation, some powders, some new um, primers, and all that good stuff that I also want to try out today as well. So I've already got my eyebrows done. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyelids. So for that, I'm going to use the Thank Me Later. So I've actually been loving this eye primer. I've used it a couple times now and I absolutely love it. Um, if any of you know me or watch my videos, you know that I really love concealers, but this has changed my mind on that and I've really been loving this. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some of this right on my eyelid. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a concealer buffer brush by Best Hope. It's gonna buff in that primer. So I'm really debating on doing an all matte look. And if I did do that, the LA Girl palette would be perfect for that because I really wouldn't need any shimmers. But I'm just not quite sure yet what I want to do. So I guess we'll play around with some colors and then decide if we want to do an all matte over lid or if we want to do a shimmer on the lid. So now that my lids are all primed, I'm going to head in with the LA Girl palette and pick up this shade called Dreamin'. It's like a matte white shade and that is going to go all over the lid. Just to set that primer base. And for that, I'm using a Morphe M441 brush. Now I'm gonna grab this shade right here called Hope. For that, I'm using a Morphe M443 brush. I'm gonna get this a little above the crease as our transition shade, just to make sure everything is blended out. And I know it's a little too early to be talking about fall because we are still in September, but I just absolutely love fall. I love being cozy on the couch. I love watching like spooky Halloween movies. So I just absolutely love fall. And I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, I usually like summer in the beginning of summer, but then by the end, it's like so hot and stuff that it's just like, yeah, I want some cooler weather. And especially here in Pennsylvania, we get a lot of cold weather in the winter. So it's really nice to get the best of both worlds. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this shade right here called New Beginnings with a M456 brush. I'm actually going to pack that right into the crease. This is a very pretty kind of light brown shade. Same thing on the other eye, getting that right into the crease, blending back and forth. Also, I am kind of going a little above the crease as well. Because we're actually going to be putting a darker shade in the crease. I actually just got the camera a little bit closer just so you guys can see everything that I am doing. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this shade right here called Escape. For that, I'm using an M506 brush, just a small blending brush. Stamping that right on the outer V. Then we will blend our way into the crease. The really good thing about the colors in this Alley Girl palette is they blend so well together, especially this one, the BU one, they just blend effortlessly. The shade is coming off more of an orange on my eye, but in the pan, it looks a lot of a deeper brown, but it's not. So I think I might go back in with a deeper brown just to darken that up a little bit. And for you guys that haven't watched my channel before, you guys know that I do not wear false eyelashes. So this time we are actually going to try to put false eyelashes on. So wish me luck with that because I've actually been practicing a lot at home. So I think I might be able to do it now. But on the video, you guys are going to see how small and curly my eyelashes really are. So it's really, really hard to tuck an eyelash behind my curly lashes. Now I'm just gonna blend that shade right into the crease. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here called Beauty. For that, I'm using an M152 brush. It's kind of like a flatter brush. 
Focusing on packing this right on the outer V. Okay, there we go. I definitely needed a darker color out in that outer V. So it's okay, even if you guys don't have this palette, you can still follow along. As long as you have browns and light browns, you'll be good to go. Grabbing a smaller blending brush by Morphe, I'm gonna go back into this shade called Escape. I'm popping that right here. I'm also gonna gently go down around this color. So now we're gonna go in for shimmer and I think I'm gonna to switch to the BH Cosmetics one just because if you can tell all the shimmers in here are kind of dark besides these two right here, which I used this yellow last time so I really don't wanna use that again. So I think we'll just switch over to the other palette. So first I'm actually just gonna go ahead and cut my crease over so that. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade Light. But I usually just apply a little to the back of my hand and then I grab my small flatter brush by Energy and I just pick some up and I sculpt out exactly where I want my cut crease. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and let the concealer dry down just a little bit. So now we're gonna jump into the BH Cosmetics palette. I'm gonna grab this shade right here called Exquisite. So to apply that, I'm using a JH62 brush. I'm just gonna start packing that exactly where we put that cut crease. So now I'm going back into the LA Girl palette. I'm going to grab the shade Sunset. And I'm going to pack this right here with the Shimmer and Matte Meat. So I'm going to do the rest of my face now. And then we will go in with lashes once the whole face is done. So for primer today, this is one I have not tried yet. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Face Primer. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my face. Okay, this is definitely super jelly. I really don't want to tip it over, but it's like, you can see it moving. It's jelly. So weird. Okay, we're just going to start applying this to the skin. It doesn't really have a smell. It kind of feels hydrating. It's almost like I have to like completely dig my like, it literally looks just like a jello. Like literally looks and feels just like jello. I'm really not sure even how long this has been out. I haven't ever really seen anybody use it. So I have a new foundation to use that I haven't ever tried before. This is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Foundation. It's really cool because it has foundation written on the back. So I got the shade 240 and so I really hope this fits me. It's like it has like a really yellow undertone. And now this foundation is supposed to be a luminous foundation, so it's supposed to kind of leave like a glowy effect, I guess. But I actually got this at Ulta. I'm using a Real Techniques blending sponge. I got this at Ulta yesterday for their 21 Days of Beauty. Because for 21 days, they'll be um, doing deals for like half off a name brand hit products. So I decided to pick this up. So for me, I just kind of, if it doesn't always match, I just drag it down onto my neck. Please don't judge me for that. But yes, I can definitely tell off the bat that this is definitely too yellow for me. I mean, I say if you're going to use a foundation that doesn't fit, just always make sure you blend it down. So once it's officially blended out, I think I really do like it. And it definitely does give kind of like a luminous glow. And as of right now, I'm really kind of digging this foundation. Definitely wish I would have got a shade or two lighter, but I can definitely make this work. I'm going to go back with that Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light by Urban Decay. I've absolutely, absolutely been loving this concealer. Like, this has been my go-to, my absolute favorite. I'm going to go back with that same Real Technique sponge. Kind of just use the cleaner side. So really, what has everybody been up to lately? Did you guys enjoy your summer? Are you excited for fall? Do you not like the cold? 
Because I almost forget that it's not cold everywhere in the fall just because it's cold in PA. I mean, it definitely gets cold other places, just not as cold. So to set that, I'm going in with the Bare Minerals powder, and this is in the shade Original. This is something else I also got in the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. I'm going to grab my Real Techniques setting brush. Just pick some of that up and start setting where I just concealed. And I'm guessing that this is the shade Translucent. I'm not quite sure though. It just says the original. And the lady at Ulta, like she wasn't really sure either. So I just went with it. So to contour today, I'll be going with an oldie, but a goodie. My next cosmetics contour kit, I'm going to take these two shades right here. I'm just going to use a tapered powder brush by Makeup Works. Just start warming up my cheeks and bronzing a little bit. Now for blush today, I'm using the Morphe Trio Blush Palette, and I'm going to go with the shade Rule Breaker, this one right here. I absolutely love this blush palette. The only one I've tried so far is this one in the middle called Free. But I definitely want to try this one because I feel like it's so much like of a mauve um, kind of like purple and pink mixed together. It's like a, I don't know, like a nude shade. I thought that would be really pretty for today's look. I'm just going to grab a brush by Wet n Wild. I actually really love this blush color. It's super, super pretty. So to highlight, I'm going to my Too Faced a Tutti Fruity Pineapple. And I'm going to take this shade right here to highlight. I'm going to use a brush by Wet n Wild. Also going to put a little down my nose, right on the tip, and right on my cupid's bow. Okay, guys, so now we're going to go in for eyelashes. So personally, for me, I do not like putting mascara on before because if I do, then it brings my eyelashes up, and I want them to stay down and out. First thing I do is grab a pair of eyelash curlers. So the normal way that people would do it is they would take it like this, okay? But I can't because my eyelashes are too short and curly, so I upside down them. And I latch on and then I just pump. And this helps to keep my eyelashes flaring out instead of going up. So now that my eyelashes are more so pointed down, I'm going to grab the eyelashes. And the ones that I'll be using are the Ardell Demi Wispies. I find that these are the easiest for me to put on. The lash band is really thin. They're not too dramatic. Like, they're super easy to put on. I don't like this, but these have, like, a crap ton of glue on them probably can't see but like there's a lot of glue from like in being in the pack because these are brand spanking new but there's like so much of like the glue that they stick them on when they put them in the box so now I just take them and I kind of roll them like this between my fingers so I just use a pair of tweezers that look like this they came in another set of eyelashes that I had purchased so the glue I use is the duo adhesive glue and this is the shade clear so I know a lot of people will sit their eyelashes down while they're doing the rest of their face, but personally for me, I actually like to blow on them. So I'll kind of blow really lightly for about 30 seconds. And I know this isn't a tutorial on eyelashes, but I thought I would share with you guys how I do this. Um, please forgive me if I mess them up because any other time I'm messing them up constantly. Like I hope I can get it this time because I really don't want to be embarrassed. I just figure it's either now or never. Like I need to start putting these things on. They make the eye look like a hundred times better. You know, an eyeshadow look isn't really nothing until false lashes are added. Then it, like, changes the whole look. Okay, so I can probably try to stick these on now. Okay, you guys, I think I did it, and I'm super, super, super happy. Um, of course, they're not that great because I'm still learning, but I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Okay, guys, there we go. False lashes are on. So I'm just going to grab my Essence Lash Mascara. And I'm just going to kind of just go up under my real ones just so they kind of blend a little bit better. So I'm going to go back into the LA Girl palette and grab the shade Beauty right here. I'm just grabbing this angled brush and I'm just going to get that right on the lower lash line right below it. Gonna go back in with that M506 brush from Morphe. Just get it directly under there just to kind of smoke that out a little bit. So now I'm just gonna coat the lower lashes. 
So now moving on for lips, I'm going to use the e.l.f. lip liner in the shade T-Rose. I'm just going to go ahead and align my lips. So now for lips, I'm going with the e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Blushing Rose. It's kind of more like a dark nude, which I usually don't typically go for, but we're going to see how it works, I guess. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. I will give you a close-up. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this fall-inspired makeup tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me put these false lashes on. Like I said, this is probably only maybe my 15th time putting them on. So I'm not that great yet. But I've been practicing. So if there's anything new to the market that you like that you think I might like, let me know down in the comments below. And also... Head over to my Facebook, add me as a friend, and message me. You can ask me questions there, and I will always answer back. So I will leave everything linked down in the description box below, everything we talked about, all that stuff. So that way, if you do end up liking it, you can head right over and get it from the stores online. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.